after studying this module we shall be able to know about the meaning of communication understand the characteristics of communication identify the role of communication with reference to marketing describe the communication process learn about marketing communication process and its importance identify the tools of marketing communication mix know about the effective marketing communication and steps for its development a business may have developed a wonderful product used a very talented management team has been able to price it correctly but then again whether it will be successful into the marketplace or not will be largely dependent upon how successful it is in persuading a large number of consumers to select the company's product or the services as compared to going and purchasing a competitor's product growing a business basically revolves around its activity of how well it is able to communicate with the consumers success of a business is highly dependent upon how well it is able to understand the consumer behavior and how much of a rapport it is able to establish in the minds of the consumers by way of its communication into the marketplaces businesses follow some basic steps while creating marketing communication and these steps include creating a message selecting a communication channel sending the message and then finally responding to the feedback business communication in marketing is usually delivered using a specific communication channel and these channels can be uh, television commercials radio advertisement print media ads and other traditional marketing channels however in the present times information technology has increased the number of marketing channels and these include the websites the emails the chatting the texting and the social media networks information technology marketing channels increase the target markets or the demographic group companies and can reach out with the business communication messages to a large number of people at a very low cost within a very short span of time communication is the process of exchanging ideas information opinions or and emotions with others for the purpose of understanding them and being understood by them the characteristics of communication are at least two parties are required for communication at least one of them should feel the need to communicate it is essentially a two way process exchange or sharing of ideas etc should take place the basic objective is to create mutual understanding it can be verbal or non verbal it pervades all human relationships it is a continuous process let us now discuss the role of communication in marketing it can inform and make potential customers aware of an organization's offering communication may attempt to persuade current and potential customers of the desirability of entering into an exchange relationship communication can also be used to reinforce experiences this may take the form of reminding people of a need they might have or of reminding them of the benefits of past transactions with a view to convince them that they should enter into a similar exchange marketing communications can act as a differentiator particularly in markets where there is little to separate competing products and brands moving on now we shall discuss the communication process earlier models of communication projected the process as a one way process the model of communication given by shannon and weaver had six elements of communication which are source encoder message channel decoder and receiver the possibility of receiver becoming the source of the message 
in the form of transmitting reactions to the message has not been incorporated in the model and communication is not that effective. For effective communication, there has to be a two-way process so that mutual understanding can be created. A nine-factor communication model is more appropriate in depicting the communication process. The two parties are sender and receiver. The communication tools are message and media used in communicating the process. The four major communication functions are encoding, decoding, response and feedback. The last element is the noise. Let us discuss in detail. Sender is the source of the message. Receiver is the party, individual or a group of people which obtains the message. Message is the content of communication. The thoughts of the sender, an idea, opinion, fact, emotion, etc. conveyed to the receiver forms the message which is the heart of communication. Medium is the channel through which the message is transmitted and delivered. Encoding is the process of selecting symbols, verbal, written, nonverbal, by the sender to convey the message. The information to be shared is converted into words, spoken or written, to be listened or read, or pictures to be seen. Also, the nonverbal clues, appearances, body language, gestures, etc., can be used to transmit the message. Decoding is the process of assigning meanings to the symbols used by the sender to convey the message and interpreting and understanding them by the receiver of the message. Response is the set of reactions that the receiver has after being exposed to the message. Feedback is that part of reaction which reaches the sender. Noise is any unplanned disruption that reduces the effectiveness of the communication. The communication process is a series of events occurring to ensure mutual understanding between the sender and the receiver. Communication is a purposeful effort to establish commonness between a source and receiver as proposed by Scram. But here, the sender may wonder whether his receiver will receive and understand the message in the way intended by him. As pointed by Scram, for understanding to take place between the source and the destination, they must have something in common. Without a common background and culture, there is little chance for a message to be interpreted correctly. The communication model proposed by him has two additional things from the earlier models, which are Field of experience, feedback. Field of experience refers to the psychological frame of reference carrying an individual's beliefs, values, attitude and experiences that the sender and receiver maintain towards each other. Scram contended that without common fields of experience, a common language, common backgrounds, a common culture and so forth, there would be a little chance for a message to be interpreted correctly. If the sources and destinations fields of experience overlap, communication can take place. If there is no overlap or only a small area in common, communication can be difficult or at times near impossible. Feedback refers to the information that comes back from the receiver to the sender and tells him how well he is doing. An experienced communicator is attentive to feedback and is constantly modifying his messages in light of what he observes or hears from his audience. Hence, the roles of sender and recipient are taken on by both parties and communication becomes circular and creates a relational model of communication. What is effective communication? The communicator makes the communication with some expectations. It seeks a particular response from the audience. When the desired response is achieved from the audience, it is said to be effective. The sender might seek three types of responses from the audience. Cognitive response, affective response, 
behavioral response. Cognitive response or learning aims to put something into the mind of the receiver. Affective response when the objective is to change the perceptions or attitudes. Communicator is looking for affective response, feeling. Behavioral response if the sender wants the receiver of the message to act in a particular way, it is seeking behavioral response, doing. Now let us discuss about marketing communication, the relationship between marketing and communication. The expression marketing and communication is often used to denote all facets of a company's marketing process, including communication. In reality, marketing is an umbrella concept and communication is a key component of it along with market research and customer service. Companies use market research to understand customers and then prepare messages used in communication. Let us now discuss the marketing communication process. The marketer acts as the sender of the message while the customers or stakeholders or general public is the receiver of the message. He tries to understand everything about his target audience so as to choose the right symbols to communicate with them. Only after deciding about the response he desires from his target audience, which may be a cognitive, affective or behavioral response, he carefully devises the message and selects the communication channels to transmit his message. Finally, he also needs to develop the feedback channels to obtain the feedback of his audience for further improvements in the message and media strategies. He has to eliminate or reduce the possible disturbing factors or noise to achieve effective communication. For a marketeer, as I have said earlier, it's not sufficient to develop a good product and to price it properly. He must also be able to communicate with the present and also the potential customers. Besides the customers, the general image of a firm is also very important. Hence, the communication doesn't confine only to the customer level, but it also involves communicating with the people in general. The marketeer, whenever comes up with a product, a brand, a need satisfier, has to first of all identify who my target customers are. Let us take the case of, say, some cell phones, iPhone. iPhone says my target customers are the people who are in the upper crust of the society, who are the rich of the richest, and hence is able to communicate with that set of segments. On the other hand, when we come up to other segments, say Samsung, they say, okay, uh, it's fine to be in the hands of rich people, but then we are also more affordable and more accessible to the people. They need to tell to the people that we are more accessible, we are more affordable, and hence they will be in the hands of the consumers. The marketeers need to inform about the products, the features, the benefits, the price and the availability. In present times, the consumer is much more smart than the firms think of. A consumer is much more informed and hence the firms need to have very effective ways by which they can provide the information as desired by the consumer. The marketeer is a sender of the message in this whole process of communication in the whole process of marketing communication the marketeer is a center of communication and the consumers stakeholders or the general public is a receiver of the message the marketeer tries to understand everything about its target audience so that it can choose the right symbols to communicate with them only after deciding about the response he desires from his target audience which may be cognitive, effective, or behavioral response, he carefully devises the message. For example, say, uh, in Delhi, the police comes up with a campaign for abiding by the traffic rules. Now, this is not a product which they're selling. This is an idea which they're selling. Here, they need a, a behavioral response from the people so that they are motivated enough to follow the rules of the traffic when they are driving. Now, if they have to do that, they have to design a message in such a way that people actually listen to that message. 
Today we are living in the age of information where informations are competing amongst themselves and hence your information reaching to the right consumer to the right audience will largely depend upon how smartly you are able to develop that message and transmit that message across. Finally, the marketing communication must not be one way. It needs to have feedback so that the target audience must be in a position to respond what they have gathered as a result of getting the communication from the marketeer. And depending upon the response, the feedback can help in devising out better messages and better media strategies and also eliminate possible disturbing factors which we call as noise which can hamper the effective communication. Hence, marketing communication is the way by which the firms attempt to inform, persuade and remind the consumers. Consumer memory is very short, particularly when there is competing information. They need to be reminded continuously, directly or indirectly, about the brands that they offer. In other words, the brands and the organizations presented to the audience through the marketing communication channels need to be made available to the consumer's mind. The goal is to stimulate a dialogue with the consumers and ideally lead to the succession of purchases because the transaction is not the end of purchase but a beginning of relationship which ultimately must transform into a complete engagement between the marketeer and the consumer. The interaction represents an exchange within the organization and each consumer according to the quality satisfaction of the exchange process. Hence, marketing communication is very important and integral part of the exchange process and the skill, the judgment of the marketeer and the smartness of a marketeer to come across to the consumer and to communicate with the consumer determine the success or the failure of this entire exercise. Traditionally, marketing communication was seen as a process of promoting the other elements of the marketing mix and it was one of the components of communicating what a firm is offering to the target audience. However, in the present times, the traditional models of marketing, which relied basically upon cause and effect model of communication on the consumers are no longer very effective as they ignored the complexity of the contemporary consumer behavior. Today, consumer is far more smart and informed and undertakes a far more complex process of decision making when it comes to purchasing or acquiring a good or service. Hence, communication is not just about telling a consumer what they offer, but it's about understanding how they behave into the markets. The brands exist in the minds of the consumer, not only through the experience of a product or service, but also because of the long-term effects of communication. Communication is essential in any relationship. In marketing, building and managing relationships with the consumers is facilitated by marketing communication and helps in defining an organization's relationship with the consumer, not only by the kind of messages exchanged, but also by the choice of media and the occasion to suit the consumer preferences. Today, when we like a page on Facebook, or when we post that this is a product which we have consumed, or this is a place where we have checked in recently, we are not only uh, participating into the process of consumers, but we are also understanding the way by which the consumers act into the marketplaces. Firms can keep a track of these consumer moments and design their marketing communication strategies accordingly. Marketing communication informs the customers about the new products and services of the company. It aims to persuade the customers to buy the products of the company. It reminds the customers time and again about the company and the products it offers. It helps in building brand equity for the product. It also plays a role in managing demand and building sales for the products of the company. It helps in differentiating the products of the company from others in the market. It influences perceptions, attitudes and buyer behavior of the customers. Let us now move on to the concept of marketing communication mix. Marketing communication is the promotion part of the marketing mix 
or the four P's price, place, promotion and product. It can also refer to the strategy used by a company or individual to reach their target market through various types of communication. You have already studied the four P's which were given by McCarthy and in these four P's the marketing communication is the component which comes under the promotion of a product. It refers to a strategy used by a company or an individual to reach out to the target audience through various types of communication. Promotion is an important element of the market mix because in the competitive scenario what consumers will purchase will largely depend upon whether they know whether they are aware of a particular product or not. And when we have competitive information, certainly there is an implicit and important communication through other elements of marketing mix that must happen. It is the task of planned and integrated set of communication activities to communicate effectively with each of the organization stakeholder groups. Marketing communication is not just communicating with the external consumers but there are people within your organization also who give in their best so you also need to have effective communication channels within the organization also it is successful favorable images and the perceptions and attitudes which you establish in long run lead to a success into the marketplace marketing communication consists of a set of tools that can be used in various combinations and different degrees of intensity to communicate with the target audience. As you can appreciate the fact that within this complex set of communication uh, boom which is uh, affecting the uh, target audience, you can't reach to the target audience by just one way. You need to have a mix of the elements just as we have four P's of marketing. Similarly, we also have the elements within the promotion mix. There are five principal marketing communication tools advertising, sales promotion, public relations, direct marketing and personal selling. However, there have been some major changes in the environment and in the way organizations communicate with their target audiences. New technology has given rise to a raft of different media. Organizations have developed fresh combinations of the promotional mix in order to reach their audiences effectively. Effective marketing communication, the ultimate response sought by marketeers from their customers is purchase of their brand. Effective marketing communication takes place when customers buy their brands, but before the customer actually buys a product, he or she has to pass through a number of stages. At the cognitive stage, marketers try to generate awareness and knowledge about their brand to step up their customers to effective stage liking preference and conviction has to be created once customers reach the conviction stage it is easier to achieve the behavioral response from them which is the purchase of the brand developing effective marketing communication one identify and understand the target audience two establish goals and objectives three develop a compelling message, four, select communications channels, five, determine how much to spend, six, decide on a marketing communications mix, seven, measure and optimize. Let us discuss in detail the seven steps of development of effective marketing communication. The first step is identify and understand the target audience. Like all marketing programs, Marketing communications should begin with a specific audience in mind. Who is the intended recipient of a company's messages? Who marketeers target will dictate what is said, how it is said, when it is said and where it is said. The second step is to establish goals and objectives. Effective marketing communications also begin with the end in mind. What does the company want to achieve with its communications efforts? More specifically, how does it want its target audience to respond? The next step is developing a compelling message. Once marketers have identified their target and objectives, 
they must then design a provocative message that draws attention, piques interest, and spurs action. An effective message will include what a company will say, how it will say it, how it will be formatted, and who will deliver it. In the next step, communications channels are selected. Marketeers can select from five communication tactics to deliver its message, advertising, PR, direct marketing, sales promotion, and personal selling. Some of these channels are personal, that is email, others are not, that is paid media. Marketeers must choose the most efficient channels of communication to deliver their message. The next step is to determine how much to spend. Most marketing organizations do not have carte blanche when it comes to marketing spend. Given that, marketeers must determine how much of their budget to allocate towards marketing communications. This decision can be based on how much they can afford, a percentage of sales, or even a competitor's spending on communications. The next step is to decide on a marketing communications mix. Depending on the market and target audience, some communications channels can be more effective than others. Marketeers must find the most efficient combination of channels, aka the marketing communications mix, necessary to achieve their goals and objectives. The last step is to measure and optimize. Like all marketing programs, an effective marketing communications program should be designed as a continuous improvement process. Marketeers should regularly measure the effectiveness of their marketing communications mix, that is message recall, message frequency, and make changes as needed. Communication is a process of exchanging ideas, information, opinion, and emotions with others for the purpose of understanding them and being understood by them. As studied earlier, communication is a process in which we follow certain stages. We have a sender, the encoding, the transmission, the decoding, and finally, the receiver. And all these components come within the advertising or the marketing program. Encoding of a message, which is a second step in the communication process, is basically the step of transforming a creative idea into something that can gain attention in the minds of the consumers. You know, we are having a uh, competition of large number of advertisements being bombarded upon the consumers. So which one we will remember at the right point of time will depend upon how well it has been encoded, how uh, this encoding is able to get the attention of the consumers. Now advertisements need to be designed according to the media. Today we can reach out to the consumers through diversity of media. We have television, we have radio, we have magazines, we have outdoors, we have billboards, we have social media, we have handheld devices, the tabs, the smartphones, all these are different different media by which the messages travel to the audience through these uh, after being transmitted from, uh, through them. The third stage of marketing communication occurs uh, when this channel or the medium delivers the message. Once the message is available at the consumer's end, at the audience end, then it has to be decoded. Now decoding occurs when the message reaches one or more of the receiver's senses. And marketing communication is the audience-centered activity where the uh, elements which are used for promotion mix include the advertising, the sales promotion, the public relation, direct marketing, and the personal selling. Each of these has its own strengths and weaknesses and these tools are being used for uh, communicating and building relationships with the consumers, whether they are uh, individual consumers or whether they are the organizational consumers. Now, developing effective marketing communication channels involves seven steps. The first step is to identify the target audience. Unless and until you don't know with whom you are going to communicate, probably the success of communication is not going to come. You are not going to achieve the goals which you want to have from communication. So second important step of communication is to establish the goals and the objectives. You must be very clear on what you want to say to the 
uh, target audience only then you will be able to have your other elements of promotion mix to device out a proper communication with the target audience the third stage is developing a compelling message the message must seek the attention the message must achieve the objective and message must be in line with what the consumer is going to understand the fourth stage is selecting communication channels you know you have to be very careful when you have to select the channel because the channel must be the one which reaches out to the consumer the next stage is about determining how much to spend communication is nowadays a very capital intensive activity and incidentally the results of uh, marketing communication do not uh, show themselves uh, within a short span of time hence you really need to have a very reasonable trade off on how much you are going to spend then decide upon marketing communication mix and also last but not the least is to measure and optimize every marketing communication must always be monitored and you must always try to optimize and uh, achieve a point where you achieve the best results so finally i would like to say that when we design the right set of marketing communication you are able to build up long term engagements and build relationships with the target audience and hence you are able to have a sustainable competitive advantage into the marketplaces